so the purpose of uh, uh, the file name okay so basically if you mention the file name in uh, sequential file okay so when you reading the data having the multiple pattern okay so emp underscore text so if you see the files here now we have four files like data is same but uh, with a different file names you can read the data multiple file names using file pattern method and if you want to check uh, in the target like from which file this particular record is coming so we have a option here to give the file name okay so go go here, go to here option file name you can give any name okay so like file name okay and so mention the appropriate uh, delimiters and all so if you come to column step so i have already defined the metadata for this so now what you can do you can create the same name what you create the file name so mention the length for it so normally we will mention var uh, here so i am mentioning 100 okay so nullability set as yes okay so here it will display from which file the data that uh, it is ready so what is the purpose of it basically uh, in case of any data issue in future okay so this particular location and particular file name will be stored it in a destination place maybe a database or a file okay so in case uh, after uh, two weeks uh, the user has raised some data issue so to to, to track where the, the particular record is coming from which source system which file so to tracking purpose we will load the so here uh, <coughs> we will be receiving the a path including the path where uh, the particular record is coming okay okay so we can close okay so click on okay now double click on uh, so stage enter any key field just to sort the data Okay, so yeah, go to output, map all the fields. Okay, so control, okay, drag and drop. Click on okay, so double click on target, mention the file name. So go to target location. Okay, so T T T S T pattern. Okay, so dot C S V. C S V. So I am loading the data in a C S V format. Okay, so first line consider as a header, as a true, and double quotes none handle the nulls quotes quotes not double quotes quotes consider as none okay go to files here yeah, now we have see all these things okay so now we have defined the target also click on okay now save this job so this is access 13 right Save this job. So Meanwhile, just a small clarification. Yeah, please. Uh, like data with multiple patterns is nothing but different files with same format. Am I right, sir? Yes, exactly. Okay. Thank you, sir.
file pattern. Okay. So click on save. Compile the job. So once you save the job, you have to compile it. Compilation is successful, then we can, then we need to run the job. Okay. Okay, so here you can see the business complex status. On the job. Control L. If you press Control L, you can see the log here in the design. So we have 60 records that are coming in uh, from four files, okay? Each file has uh, 15 records. Let's see the output. Let's go to target folder. So EMP pattern. So open this. Now here we can see the location of the file. You see here, file name. So this entire path, entire path will be loading into destination place, maybe in database, in real time, no? So we will save uh, this particular file name. Okay, so in data, uh, in uh, any of the common database like that. So what is the purpose of uh, doing this activity? So in case of any data issues in future. Okay, so to trace uh, where exactly the data is coming. It is coming from source itself means then we can check uh, in the source file. Okay. So for tracking purpose, we'll give this file name. Okay. So if you see here, I have sorted the data. Okay. I have sorted the data. Of each file, from each file, it has uh, the same record as sorted first. Then the second number, like that. Okay. 7369 and 74999. Uh, uh, so like that, it, it will follow the uh, pattern. I mean, sort order pattern, okay? So this is about exercise three, exercise 30, for reading the data for me, multiple files, okay? And also here we have mentioned the file name, okay? So the file name, so that will be trace out in case of any issues in the future. So that will be helpful for us. Okay, for tracking purpose, we will uh, mention the file name. Okay, so normally in real time, it will come with a timestamp. Okay, so once the data is loaded into respective tables, no, then we will move these files into archival folder. So it, it will follow the pattern like this, like uh, today's date. So today's date is uh, 16th, 15th June, sorry, 15th June, and timestamp. So now 736 is the time, 07, 03, sorry, 07, 36 minutes. So I'm considered 48 seconds with the seconds and some TXT. Okay. So if the files will be received like this. Okay. So for instance, 
uh, while creating this file no so maybe end of the business day they have multiple countries uh, where the business op operations are happening so they will uh, extract the data by end of the closing business day so they will trace out i mean they will track this uh, information and send the file to us okay so then we will process in the etl activity so here in database will be stored with this format uh, from which file so this uh, entire this in this path no so they will only read this this file and that's it so here uh, third portion uh, second position so here we have a command called field function so that will separate the exact file okay so for tracking purpose we'll be using this uh, file name so any questions here on this ex assignment and from my side okay what about others sir what if the data like is different in different files so in case of data is different from it will be different so here i have taken same file with uh, multiple file names so that is the reason here i said so in real time no so data will be different from um, file to file but the layout is same layout is common okay oh, yeah sir if the layout because those is files also... have an uh, footer or header to be eliminated we have to set the options accordingly yeah footer header has to if there is any footer and header then we have option filter okay so here filter i'm able to i think if we use this file name we can't do this filter by type so before uh, if you remove this now then only it will work okay yeah okay so if that means before merging happening we have to remove the header and footer i mean to say one more preprocessing yeah so one more precaution you need to consider i think for removing header and footer in the for multiple files uh, it it won't uh, happen actually when when you are reading a multiple read uh, pattern if it is a single file only then we can uh, apply the filter here so before <laughs> before uh, data is coming to landing directory uh, we have to remove the header and file header and footer uh, uh, by using unix uh, uh, commands okay and makes the file is available in the respective landing that land, landing data source directory okay so remember this when you are applying uh, reading the data method in a form of file pattern then we cannot uh, apply the filter condition so here you can see the filter option is not available okay yeah 